It has been long rumored that Apple is coming out with a new VR headset. However, there has been little to no concrete evidence on what to expect from this unit until now. What's going on everybody? It's Paul from VR Asylum. Today we're gonna to be taking a look at my top five features for the VR headset from Apple. But before we do that, we're gonna do something a little bit different today. I'm actually gonna run through the hardware and the software as well as the release date and the price expected for this headset. So why don't we jump in, take care of that. After we do that, we'll jump right into the features and they're really cool, stay tuned. Codename N301, the Apple VR headset is on track for a 2022 launch. The current prototype VR headset is one of the major focus areas for the company as more than a thousand people are currently working on the project. The brain of the VR headset is going to be the most powerful processor that Apple has ever developed. Rumored to be even more powerful than the M1 Apple silicone powering the current gen MacBook Air and the 13 inch MacBook Pro. Apple plans to be using a fabric exterior for the VR headset to keep the headset light enough for extended use. The experts on the report speculate that the Apple is indeed going to use a inbuilt fan to keep the temperatures under control. For the actual unit itself, new information about the Apple VR headset via Mac rumors. This time the Apple analyst is predicting that the headset will have 15 optical cameras. Apparently eight of the 15 will be used for a see-through augmented reality feature and the further six will be used for innovative biometrics. The final lens will be there for environmental detection. The headset will use a new operating system which Apple is referring to internally as ROS, R meaning reality, and is based on the current operating system. According to rumors, the Apple headset could just weigh 150 grams. That's less than the combined weight of the AirPod Max and its case. This would also put Apple's headset lighter than the Oculus Quest 2. How Apple will pull this off while also providing enough tech and power to provide a fulfilling experience is yet to be seen. It's possible that this less heavy design won't include all the features like 8K. More about that later and could instead use the company's recently patented hologram tech. Either way, the technology would be a step ahead of the current VR systems today. LiDAR scanning is a nifty new way for devices to detect the world around them. And we've seen Apple use this on their products like the iPad Pro and the iPhone 12 Pro and iPhone 12 Pro Max. In a system very similar to the radar, LiDAR, light detection and ranging, uses a laser to determine the distance and depth of an object. This tool is great for AR, allowing devices to more accurately map virtual constructs onto a real life object, but could also be used with VR to map out a room and determine the safe space surrounding a user. One interesting feature that could be coming to the VR Apple headset is a wearable controller that can track finger movement. A new patent was filed for a self-mixing interferometry base gesture input system. This tracks a user's hand movement while using a ring attached to the thumb and the index finger. The patent goes on to say that the tracking would provide input to the AR, VR and MR applications. The talk of AR and MR could mean that the device is intended for Apple's AR headset as well. Potentially this controller would be an optional peripheral. Like the Apple Pencil, this would be released at a later date and can be used across Apple's different headsets. For those of you worried about a high resolution screen eating up your battery life and requiring huge processing, Apple may have you covered. Eye tracking software with the headset is designed to follow where the user is looking and only have that portion of the screen at full resolution. Other areas of the screen will allegedly become blurred to save on processing power using a trick called foveated rendering. This next feature, if implemented into the Apple VR headset, is going to raise the bar for other companies such as Oculus which can only be good for the VR community. 
So before we get into number one though, could you please take the time to go down and hit the like button. If you guys enjoyed the video, if you didn't enjoy it, hit the dislike button and leave a comment and tell me why you didn't like my video. <laughs> Work hard on these things. Anyways, let's jump in to number one. One of my favorite features that seems to be almost certain given the plethora of leaks is the VR headset dual 8K display at 7680 by 4320 resolution. That's four times as many pixels as a 4K screen and significantly more pixels than any other commercial available device. To compare, the Valve Index VR headset uses a 1440 by 1600 pixel display. Now, obviously we need to take this with a grain of salt, but being an Apple consumer, I know that Apple always pushes the limits when they come out with new products. And I'm sure the VR headset is gonna be no different. 